hello friends welcome back to my channel today in this video guide i will show you how to fix grounded 2 game crashing at startup not loading stuck on loading screen not launching or other issues on pc so let's go through it so the first method what you need to do is to check system requirements for that simply go to steam go to the store page and here type the game or search for the game and then go below and here you can see the system requirements that is required to play the game now try to play the game and check if you can play it if not the second solution suggested is to restart your system for that simply click over here go to the power option and then click on restart option after this try to launch the game and then check if the issue is resolved if not the next solution suggested is to run game as administrator for that you need to go to steam go to the library section where your game has been installed select the game select the game from here right click on it click on properties now click on install files then click on browse see here you can see that the game has been installed i have not installed the grounded to game i am showing just the steps that you can easily follow so select the game right click over here go to the properties and then select compatibility and from here simply click on run this program as an administrator and then click on apply and ok if it does, doesn't work then simply click on compatibility mode and then click select windows 8 or you can also select windows 7 and then click on apply and ok if not you can also click on disable full screen optimization and then click on apply and ok and after that try to play the game and check if this solution works for you suggested is to update graphics card for that go to the search option over here look for device manager now go below and expand display adapters here select the driver and then right click on it and then click on update driver option and after that again click on search automatically for drivers this will search for the best drivers on your pc and will install it and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution works or else you can also follow the link given in the descriptions from where you can easily download and install the latest drivers on your pc the next solution suggested is to verify integrity of the game files for that simply go to steam go to the library section where your game has been installed right click on it and then click on properties after that, click on install files and then here you need to click on verify integrity of game files once your game files has been updated now try to launch the game and then check if you can play it the next solution suggested is to allow the game through firewall the next solution suggested is to allow the game through firewall for that you simply go to the search option over here search for windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature after that look for the game it if it has been listed over here if not then click on change settings and after that go to the allow another app and click on browse and from here you can add your game into the list and after it has been added simply select the game make sure both private and public boxes are tick mark and then click on ok and after that try to play the game and check if this solution works next is to add launch arguments for that simply go to steam library section select your game right click on it click on properties and here in the launch option you should type minus dx11 and then try to launch the game and check if this works if not then simply type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and check if this solution works for you 
If not, the next solution is to update Windows. For that, simply go to the search option, type check for updates. Windows update interface will open over here. You simply need to click on check for updates option. This will check if there is any update available. After that, once your Windows is updated, now check if you can play the game without any further problem. The next solution suggested is to overclock CPU and GPU setting. This is a temporary fix that can load the game easily and improve the performance. It's a good idea to overclock your CPU and GPU to keep normal. So once you should go for it and then check if this solution works for you. Next is to check graphic settings of the game. So while playing the game, make sure the resolution or the texture quality of the game does not impact the game. So it should be kept low so that no unwanted issue occurs while playing the game. So make sure to lower the graphic settings of the game. Next solution suggested is to close unnecessary background task. So for that, simply click over here, go to the task manager. Now under process tab, find out which app is consuming more resources or is of no use. Simply click on that, select it and then click, right click on it and then click on end task option. This will close the game or the app completely that is consuming high resources and now try to launch the game and check if it works. If not, the next solution suggested is to disable antivirus program. If you are having any antivirus program, then disable it and then try to launch the game. This will hopefully solve the issue as many antivirus programs stops the game from launching. So you should also go for it. Simply disable your antivirus program and then try to play it. Next solution suggested is to run the game as dedicated graphics card. For that you simply go to the search option over here. Search for graphic settings. Now here you need to add the game the desktop from the desktop so simply click over here and add the game where it has been installed as i have already added the game so simply go over here then gpu performance will be as let's windows decide so here you need to simply click on high performance and after that try to launch the game and check if it works if not the next solution suggested is to install Visual C++ files. For that I have provided the link in the description. Simply go through the link, download and install the Visual C++ files on your PC as per requirements and then try to launch the game and check if this works. Next solution suggested is to increase virtual memory. For that you simply go to the search option over here. Search for view advanced system settings. Here under performance you need to click on settings. Now go to the advanced. Under virtual memory click on change option. Now disable this tick mark and click on custom size. Here you need to write 24576 and 49152. And after that click on OK and then try to launch the game and check if this solution works. If not, the final solution suggested is to reinstall the game. For that, go to Steam folder. Under library section, select your game. Right click on it and then click on manage and then click on uninstall option. And after that, click on uninstall. Now, this will remove the game from your PC. Then restart your system once and after that, try to reinstall the game and then launch it and check if you can play the game now without any further problem. So all these are some of the best solutions suggested to fix the grounded 2 game crashing or not launching error on PC. So that's all for now.